Aged 17, I paddled canoes from Mound to Chief's Island in the Okavango Delta, upstream, highlighting a latent stupidity, but sparking an abiding love of these magnificent wild places. A weekend trip to Victoria Falls turned into a 13-year stay, running rafting and safari companies, guiding canoe and vehicle safaris on the Zambezi. Then in 2005, I was asked to help restore the Gorongosa National Park in Mozambique, an almost mythical place, once the most densely populated wildlife area in southern Africa, but decimated by war in the 1980s. I moved with my brave wife and two-month-old daughter into the war-shattered remains of Chitenga Camp on the Pungwe River. Gorongosa has an incredibly diverse ecosystem, unique montane forests on Mount Gorongosa, huge floodplains and grasslands, Miombo woodlands, pure stands of hyphen palms and fever trees, limestone gorges and caves. The ongoing mission is to return the park to its former glory by developing commercial ecotourism to pay for conservation and wildlife relocation programs. The most challenging issue facing conservation in Africa is human population pressure and human-animal conflict around protected areas. I believe it is necessary to give wildlife and wild places a tangible commercial value in order to guarantee their survival. These are issues dedicated teams are dealing with daily, not only in Gorongosa, but in every wildlife area in Africa. My hope is that we can mold a template for wilderness recovery in other threatened areas so that my children can have the same exposure to wild Africa that I have had.